So welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're walking around a 1965 Plymouth Fury. This one has a believed to be 318 under the hood. It does have power steering, aluminum radiator. It looks like a new alternator somebody put on there. We're gonna be walking around this car, checking everything out. That way you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Post videos almost every single day. We're also going to be doing a test drive video of this car, taking it down the road, point out any kind of flaws. Jump on over to maplemotors.com. I have close to 100 detailed pictures. Shipping and financing available. We ship all over the country pretty much daily. You can also see all of our new rides every Monday on a weekly update and a walk around of the entire car lot right here on YouTube. So first off, this is the test, I mean, this is the walk around video and then we're gonna be doing a test drive after. I want you to watch both of them. That way you know everything about this car. If you like the music at the beginning, jump on over to Southgate Production. I produce all of that. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get started here. Coming around the front, you can see there's a little bolt over here. It's got a little rust coming through it on the front bumper. Most of them look like that. I'd almost switch that over. It's because the front end's in pretty good shape. See, they didn't even put one on this side. Of course, looking down the side of the car, yeah, it looks fairly straight. We're gonna go down the lower portions first. See some light uh, scratches on the surface there. Good tires, American racing rims. Drum brakes in the front and rear. Coming up over. There's a slight dent right here. And you can see some bubbles popping up in the door there couple chips in the lower portion a couple more bubbles in the back of the door and in the bottom of this fender some rust trying to come through this car does have an older paint job you see all the chips and the surface rust popping up same with this back there's a lot of little spots popping up on the paint here We're gonna go down the mid section now, and then we're gonna hit the top section. A couple chips back here. A little bubbling in the paint. If there's a crack and any water gets under it, as soon as it freezes outside, it pops the paint right up. And then bare metal rust, so. You're missing your uh, keyhole on this side. Going back this top section. Trim around the windows in pretty good shape. Actually, almost all the windows here looks pretty good. The top's a bit older. Got some rust popping up back here under the trim. You see where it's popping the paint up? Go real slow around this, kind of let you see everything. Got some light scratches running down the back here. Coming around the back end, I'm gonna go ahead and check the trunk out first. Weather stripping looks fairly new. The trunk is not in bad shape. They put a prop in here because it doesn't stay up by itself. So this was in the trunk when we got it, I believe. Let's see how it shuts down. Well, there we go. Give her a firm shut there and it is down. Coming around 
on the back. Bumper's been replaced. It looks pretty good. Tail lights are in decent shape. Dual exhaust out the back. Try to get my shadow out of there. It looks like a gas cap, man. It came off a different car. It's definitely a different color. Looking around this trim again since it was bubbling up on the other side. It's got a little bit of issues popping up on this side as well. See the top here, it's got a little bit of issues as well. All right. What we're gonna do is come down this lower portion here. We got some chips right there by that gas cap. And right in the middle here, you can see some bubbles popping up at the back. Went up over the fender, same thing, a few more bubbles. This car is gonna need to be stripped down, checked out. There's gonna be some areas that are need, gonna need to be fixed for sure. See a bunch of the little chips popping up. It has the same crease on the other side. Wonder what they did there. I'm gonna bow the fender. Got a chip in the front here. Coming back down the midsection. A little oxidation on some of this trim. Be polished off. A few chips. Some chips in the corner here. I know it's an older paint job, and I'm trying to just catch most of the stuff. A little scratch here. And you could probably clean her up and just drive it for a few years as well. But at the same time, if you go ahead and fix what's there, it'll uh, prevent the problem to get worse. It's like somebody sealed up the windshield before here. You got some pitting on your wiper arms. There's a bunch of chemical peel on the on the hood. Let's see if you can see that. I gotta get my camera out of the way. It's just tiny little bubbles. It's like a chemical reaction with the paint. Okay. All right, we've made it all the way around this vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and open it up, check out the interior and get her started. Be looking for that test drive video. I'll also give you undercarriage shots and those hundred detailed pictures of the underside. That's why he's put in a steering wheel cover. The seats are in pretty good shape, nice and clean. Sit in the back seat. The top doesn't look too bad at all. See some age on these uh, panels back here. The door panel, it's in decent shape. It's like they glued this piece on here. Coming around, the jam, looking up under the door. Do have some rust popping up. Of course, you've seen that on the outside there. jams in decent shape try to get my shadow out of here guys carpet needs to be replaced it's all different colors so go ahead and place your bets do you think this horn works we're also gonna be trying to take down the top I've never actually done it in this car so I'll, uh, we'll see how that goes let's go ahead and start her up Let's see, the battery was unhooked when I got out of here. Maybe I didn't put it on tight enough. Let me check that. Sounded like that's what it was, a connection. Yeah, it's kind of loose there. Let's check this one. 
little bit a little bit okay so all i did was take these connections apart clean them and they weren't they weren't really bad but made all the difference in the world starts right up good deal i don't think we've actually checked over everything oh i gave it away horn works <laughs> Just bumped it with my leg. This car sounds pretty peppy. I don't think this old radio is going to be working though. I hear the blower motor is working. There is no AC on this car. Original clock is not working. Tell you what, a nice, nice new carpet. Maybe a paint job on this car. Go a long ways. Let's check these wipers. They work. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn the lights on. We'll check that out as well. I'll go ahead and show you the mileage. Showing 53,903. And of course you got your temperature gauge alternator and your gas we're going to be stopping and getting gas for sure because i do not know exactly how much gas is in here all right so i believe this is going to be your top we're going to try this top it's the first time i've ever done it let's see how it works hopefully it works good let's see here so let's see what we got here that doesn't sound good <laughs> I think the top's gonna have some issues. Let's look back here. See what we've done. Looks a little wet down in the corner there. I think I got a hose busted. That was definitely on the driver's side. Looks decent on the passenger side there. What I'll do is I'll get somebody to help me. We'll go ahead and hopefully drop this top down. And uh, we'll get some pictures and check it out. Okay, so I didn't have to go get anybody. I just grabbed it and realized they unhooked it. So this, the, it's all hooked up, but it's not hooked up to the top anymore. Probably because it was so slow. I did this with one hand. Honestly, I would not hook that back up. Um, it is all up to you. It's your preference. But it came down pretty fast just with one hand there. It's crazy they had all that stuff hooked up. Definitely got some uh, hydraulic oil that squirted out during that. <laughs> okay, check these windows. The driver window is loose. Kind of came off track and you had to uh, adjust it as you rolled it down. Let's see if the rear window is the same way. Actually, rear window is in good shape. It's on track there. Just trying to go over everything in detail, guys. This one's got a little bit of a gap on the window there too. Probably just needs a new seal. That seal there is gone. You can order those online. Let's see. Comes down nice. Pretty smooth. Rear. Same thing. Pretty smooth. Just the driver's window is going to need some attention. And it's just my preference, but I wouldn't hook all this back up. It's easy as that was to pull down okay we got the headlights on right now looks like they're working we'll go ahead and hit the turn signals should be left turn signal now let's go to the back it is blinking tail lights are on check the front we do have a front turn signal down there in the bumper we'll go to the right side now and turn signal is working up front here good deal guys Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. We're gonna be doing some undercarriage shots before I leave you today. And also a test drive of this car going down the road. 
see it blinking there it is working so yeah definitely go to maplemotors.com look at those detailed pictures we're going to give you some shots real quick let's look under this one Okay guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you do have any questions, give us a call 615-822-4444. We'll be happy to help you out. I do have financing, I do have shipping available. You can ship these cars all over the country. Be looking for the test drive. I'm getting ready to make that video. It's coming up next. Got a few more cars to do before I can leave work today. So hope y'all enjoyed this. If you like the music at the beginning of the page go ahead and go on over to southgate production you can check that out right here on youtube coming down with the front here comes down nice and easy See those bumps on the hood there? All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you did. And uh, let's get on over to the test drive. See y'all in a little while.